It is a pleasure to share a snapshot of where we are with the Bryn Mawr Digital Competencies Program and to talk about just digital competencies in the liberal arts context generally. And um, so the first piece is this idea that we're always sort of working this tension between we want our students to be well prepared and to know how to talk about how they're well prepared, especially for their early um, pathways right after they graduate from our institutions, rather that whether that's graduate and professional school or um, a work experience that they're heading toward. At the same time, we're not aiming to become vocational tra training institutions, so a digital competencies model that is very much about teaching the traditional modes of liberal arts, sort of uh, digital competencies um, and meta skills, broader competencies that we care about, so um, reflection and critical thinking, metacognition, uh, thinking about more complex projects and how we bring them together in teams, uh, communication skills, those kinds of things. And really at the core of our model is this idea of uh, students are reflecting on sort of what they're already able to do and what they're interested in. We're giving them a map to help them find curricular and co-curricular opportunities to build and develop competencies of various sorts that are meaningful for them. And then we're giving a lot of scaffolding and practice around how to articulate uh, your learning and your uh, emerging capabilities and think about particular audiences for whom you're going to use particular kinds of um, language in order to convey uh, what you're able to do and what you hope to translate into an, in a new context. So in our particular context, we think a lot about uh, the importance of women's empowerment. In, um, in particular, we're thinking about uh, women often, um, this is a gross overgeneralization, but will um, undersell their capabilities. And uh, we are wanting to help our graduates in all facets of their lives be uh, very confident in conveying what they know they're capable of doing and um, also their intrepid ability to learn rapidly new things. And we have partnered a lot with our career peers as well as with our engineers and makers club to help us think about how do we build facets of this, this program to give um, women especially confidence around their digital capabilities. And, and the, the confidence to talk about it. So um, we, like Virginia Woolf's uh, uh, A Room of One's Own, we want in the digital space each woman to have a domain of her own. And so we're using uh, Reclaim Hosting's platform. And we're using it in two ways. One is really as a sandbox for people to get their hands on technology and configure it and play with it and learn in a, an empirical way. And the other is more of an e-portfolio platform creating digital present, presence and, and telling stories about emerging capabilities. So we're sitting in the room, this is kind of fun to do, that is modeled in the bottom right here. Jessica Linker, uh, our clear postdoctoral fellow in digital scholarship, has been mentoring a team of students who are building a 3D model of the first chemistry lab on campus. And it's a sort of meta thing where they're learning technical and all kinds of other research methodology skills as they're building this out, but they're also learning 3D modeling and then using that 3D space to tell stories about how women learn science in, in the early days um, and what that science education looked like and who the researchers were who were faculty members here and who their students were who went out in the world uh, doing science and teaching others. Um, so our framework at a glance, it will be familiar to the kinds of competencies you would expect in such a model. Uh, we have um, in our institutional repository the more um, developed version uh, that enumerates the particular learning outcomes. And we've integrated information literacy framework into that um, model as well in, in places where that's relevant. Uh, I would say for us a really key facet is this idea of curricular and co-curricular. Students are helping us design, but students really are the core unit. This is really about how students find the opportunities that are already there in terms of blended learning and all of the academic programs, research opportunities, internships, student employment that's framed as professional development. 
um, student activities where they're building websites and so on, um, and all manner of all, all kinds of pathways they might pursue um, along their career. There's no checklist of one right way to do it. People find their interests and pursue different pathways and sets of competencies that make sense for their needs. And just finally, some of the scaffolding. We have really worked with partners across campus in a variety of ways to raise awareness of the program and to integrate it in various ways into the fabric of the educational experience. Um, we're doing some organizational transformation to make it happen. Um, and we're doing a lot of providing sort of scaffolding to help faculty start using this language and to help students start using this language and reflect on what it is that they're learning. Ultimately, we're hoping that students are articulating a lot of compelling stories about what they're able to do. And we're giving them tools to do that. And I'm going to share the slides after this so that you can look at videos as desired and sample portfolios and that kind of thing.